cameras. You seen this paper? No, I stopped getting it in the morning after my neighbor quit having it delivered. Cheap jerk. Hammer. It's been leaked to the press that Captain Trunk is going to testify against the narcotics syndicate Thursday. You know, that's what I hate about the newspapers in this country. They find out things, and then they write about them. Freedom of the press, it stinks. Hammer, now that the syndicate has this information, they'll do anything to keep Trump quiet. Yeah, fat chance. He's louder than most airports. Hammer! See what I mean? Hammer, the commissioner wants to talk to us. I put him on the speakerphone. Hello, can everyone hear me all right? Yes, we yeah. can hear you. And Hammer, are you there? You. Move over. Yes, sir, how far? Not you, Hammer. I'm talking to my driver. I'm calling for my car phone. Hammer, needless to say, I'm livid about today's press leak. Uh, yes, I am too, sir. Could you please slow down? I am too, sir. Not you, my driver. With the syndicate alerted to Captain Trunk's court appearance Thursday, it's imperative he be placed under your protective custody until then. Are you talking to me or to the driver? <laughs> you, your custody hammer. This is one instance where a man like you is perfect for this assignment. No, no, Commissioner, don't do this to me. Wait, just let me get this straight. I am in charge of the captain, right? Right. No, not you. Turn left, this is a one-way street. Ah! My life is in the hands of a man who causes injuries over the telephone. What can I say? I'm expanding. <laughs> Excuse me, Captain Trunk. You're needed to check the supplies in room number four. Yeah, right, very good. Leave the devil away. I'm right behind you, Captain. Forget it, Hammer. I'm a grown man. I can take care of myself just fine. Thank you. Captain, be reasonable. Hammer's under the direct orders of the commissioner. I don't give a damn about any orders. Hey, well, I'm surprised about turning my badge after Thursday. You think he's serious? Well, I think he must be. He has no sense of humor. Well, the captain's got his pride, but I'm more concerned about his safety right now. Will you relax? He's with two cops who both have Lugers, which aren't regulation. Desecrate this symbol of law and order. Also makes me sick because you look good in uniforms. I think those assassins really roughed you up, sir. They didn't lay a finger on me. Hammer did. Well, you may be hard pressed to admit it, sir, but Hammer did save your life. Yes. Thank you, Hammer. You saved my life. I'm sure you do the same for me, sir. Oh, you wish. Thank you. Under the circumstances, sir, I think it's important that you check into a hotel. Oh, now you're giving me orders, Doro? I'm gonna live my life as usual, and that means meeting my ex-wife for dinner tonight as planned. Look, it's taken a lot of effort to get that woman to even talk to me. For six months, she refused to accept my phone calls. Well, I can understand that, sir. She's probably afraid you'll hurt her ears. Sir, if you insist on keeping this engagement, then we'll be obligated to accompany you. Don't worry. You won't even know I'm there. Listen, uh, I figured that uh, for us to settle our differences, we meet face to face. And, uh, that's my tactic. Tactic? There you go again. Nothing's changed. Even when you're off duty, you speak like a policeman. <sighs> Renee, listen. Being here with you right now, <sighs> policemen are the furthest thing from my mind. All right, this sector's secured. Everything's okay.
Excuse me. New restaurant policy. I can't let you eat anything unless I've tasted it first. He's pepper. Who is that man? I have no idea. Ignore him. Ignore him? What is this? Why did you ask me out tonight? Because I want you back in my life! Honey, be realistic. You're not the same man I married. You've changed. Ever since you became captain of that precinct, something has its turned you into a, a bitter, angry man. What did it to you? But, Renee, I had to make a choice between my career and being married to you. Lately, I have been questioning that decision vehemently. Are you saying that you regret giving up our marriage for your career? Yes. That's what I'm saying. Oh, Darrell, you ought to hear the line of bunkies dishing out now. I'm gonna be sick. Oh, hit the deck! <laughs> Get off me! Get off me! Creepy, get off of me! I thought you didn't know this person. He's one of my men! Oh, Captain, now you've gone and blown a perfectly good cover. Please, let me explain, will you? You owe me that much. All right, all right, come on in. But just one minute. All right, all right. doing this because I care captain uh, we'll stay in here so you two can have a moment alone yeah a great idea I can't believe that I'm still talking to you I understand hammer I am going in that room to be with the woman I love do you understand that? let's go no you are staying here. I am going in there. If you come in there, I will kill you. Hammer, he's not in any danger. He used to be married to that woman. Oh, listen, anybody who's alone with his ex-wife is in danger. It's quiet in there. It's too quiet! Ah! Please! Emma. Emma, get out of this room. Get out of this room. Out! 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 I think we should investigate now. No, no I do. Darrow, when will you ever learn? This is a very sensitive moment for the captain. Stay here tonight with Mrs. Trunk. I'm gonna move the captain to the only safe place in the city. Where's that? My apartment. Well, Captain, this is where I crash every night. What do you think? Is it me? Hammer, I'm exhausted. I'm going to get a good night's sleep and insult you in the morning. Captain, are you really serious about giving up your career just to get back with your ex-wife? What if I am? It's disgusting. 
Real men don't need women. Cameron, without women, you would never have been born. Prove it. I am too exhausted even to have a migraine. Good night, Captain. Shut up. Maggot, I'm gonna take you in. I'm gonna floss your teeth with a crowbar. Hammer! Do what? You're talking! Sometimes I arrest people in my sleep, sir. That's it, that's it. First thing in the morning, my life's in danger. You beat me up in the closet. You ruin my evening with my ex-wife. And on top of that, you destroy half her house. Yeah, we had fun today, but I think it's time we got some sleep. I'm getting the hell out of here. The death of Captain Trunk is a tragic loss. But, in the words of the immortal Alexander Haig, as of now, I am in control. <clears throat> the captain will be interred in a private ceremony on Friday. Now, let us observe a moment of silence in his memory. That'll be all. believe it. He's gone. We failed. This is horrible. I'm surprised at you crying at a time like this. You are a police officer. Act like one. My God, don't you ever show any emotion? Duro, I show a whole range of emotion. Anger, rage, hate. Hate. How can you be so cold? He was our friend. Yeah, but I take comfort in that he's in a better place now. Room 208, Municipal Hospital. What? Trunk is alive. He's alive? Shh! Enough happiness. He needs minor surgery. He has a bullet in his side. But he'll be ready to testify right on schedule. You see, I figured if those sleazoids thought he was dead, they'd stop trying to kill him. Oh, why didn't you let me in on it? I think that's obvious. You're a woman, and you have a phone. Dr. Bernard. Hold it right there. Why did the chicken cross the road? To avoid the death penalty. Go right in, Inspector. Guess who thought up that password? You? You're no fun anymore. Trunk. Shh. This patient's going into surgery today. Don't disturb him unless it's absolutely necessary. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. Captain. Captain. It's me. It's Hammer. What have you done? Now I have to sedate him. <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm in the pain already. Captain, just calm down. I have news for you. I've been killed? Don't believe everything you read in the papers. <laughs> They'll never find me now. Just as I'd planned. The press got us into this mess. I figured the least they could do was get us out. Nice irony, huh? Hammer, this is brilliant. And to top it all off, I just called your wife and told her not to worry. Everything's fine. Of course. You didn't tell her that I was here. No. Well, yes. Hammer, at least you told her not to visit. 
because the syndicate may be watching her? Ah, well. Hammer, Hammer, if she comes here, she will be followed, and I will be in danger again. Captain Trunk, I'm sure if she were going to visit, she would have been here by now. Sorry, I'm so late. I came as soon as I could. No! Oh, God, no! Isn't that funny? That's what my wife used to say to me when I came home. I thought you were a dead man. Not yet, but very, very soon. Is something wrong? I am going to be killed, and you... Thanks for coming. Better get you out of here. Well, Captain, I guess it's just you and me against the whole stinking world, huh? Hey! That cop wasn't here before! Remember, he's one of us! He's one of us! He's a friend! Get off of me! What's the matter, you crazy? Yeah, some friend. He didn't even show up at the funeral. You'll have to leave now. I'm afraid I can't do that. I have to screen everything that enters him. If you insist. <laughs> Doctor, could I have a moment of your time? There's a telephone junction over there. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Hammer, aren't you done yet? Well, this thing's clean. Hammer. Uh, uh. Inspector, can I have a word with you? I'll be administering the anesthetic to Captain Trunk. Hey, wait, not so fast. Let's see some ID. All right, sure, fine. That says you're a doctor. How can I be sure? Check these out. Oh, gold cards. He's for real. We need a security check in the operating room. Follow me. No, Hammer, go. I'll cover you here. Captain, you're going to be just fine. Yeah, until you get back. The road, take this way, please. Anything in particular you're worried about? Huh. You. The x-ray room, Inspector Hammer. My head, ah, uh, it feels like a speed bump. Merely a concussion. Oh, thank goodness. I was afraid I'd banged it. Inspector, you've cost us quite a few men. The way you slugs are moving, Trunk's gonna die of old age. Trunk will not survive the afternoon. In a short time, he will receive an overdose of anesthetic. It will be considered a hospital error. I'll never understand why you guys explain your whole plan before you kill somebody. Don't tell me how to do my job, Inspector Hammer. As for you, you will now receive enough radiation for a thousand lifetimes. <sighs> Captain Hammer's been gone a long time. Something must have happened to him. Oh, thank you, Doro, for giving me a reason to live.
Take me alive, Hammer. That's just the way I like it. Just knocked out your anesthesiologist, sir. Oh, no need to thank me, sir. What about my surgery? Captain, we cannot trust anyone. Uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to remove the bullet. Hammer, you can't do that. Hammer, you can't do it. It's okay. I've done it before. On myself. Don't touch me. Captain. Congratulations on your testimony, Captain. It takes a brave man to stand up to the syndicate. That's my job, Hammer. I'm a cop. Nothing can change that. I think my ex-wife understands that now. We're spending the weekend in Lake Tahoe. It's romantic, sir. I guess she realizes there are worse things in life than being married to a cop. Like being beat up by one. Hello? Oh, yes, Commissioner. He's right here. Inspector Hammer, I'd like to congratulate you on the job you did guarding Captain Trunk. Well, I did save his life four times. Five. I count not performing that operation. Thanks to Captain Trunk, a major blow has been dealt to the Syndicate. That's good to hear, sir. It certainly is, but we're not out of the woods yet. So I think Hammer should protect Trunk for at least another month. Thank you, gentlemen. I wonder if there's a rifle range in Lake Tahoe. 